Hey, how are you doing? Well, I'm suffering from a bit of uh, post-Fiji depression, but I thought I should talk to you about uh, my quiver. Uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that um, I had uh, selected three boards to take to Fiji. It was my first trip going up there. Uh, and I decided to take a Red Tiger XL, which is 36.9 litres, 6.1. I took a Shadow XL 6.2, which is 36.8 litres. And I took a Ghost uh, 6.4, which is 37.1 litres. I thought those boards were going to be the ones that worked for me well in uh, Fiji. Obviously, I hadn't been there. Uh, I didn't know what the waves were really like, apart from watching them on video, of course. Uh, so it was going to be an interesting experiment for me to see how well they went. I surfed mostly, almost exclusively, Cloud Break and Wilkie's Passage. And uh, the first real good surf, which was only on my second day there, was sort of eight foot, eight foot plus really. I took out my Ghost uh, 6.4 and the conditions were perfect. It was just a light offshore breeze. Here are some photos uh, that you can see of it. Uh, you can see how glassy it was, the size deceptively. Um, when I first went out, I thought it was only about four or five foot, and then I quickly changed my estimates. There were sets that were coming in that were exceptionally solid. It was just silky smooth. Uh, it was sectioning a bit. Uh, you can see from some of these waves here, the sections are just starting to toss over in front. It made it quite difficult to get around. Those sections, I had thought that cloud break, I was just going to get shacked all of the time. Actually, I found it very difficult to get into barrels there. Uh, and a lot of the waves, I wouldn't say a lot of them, but a number of the waves were closing down. So I found, though, that the 6.4 Ghost was the perfect board for cloud break. It worked exceptionally well there. The length, the volume, I was able to get into the waves easily. Um, just nice smooth takeoffs because of the surface conditions. Uh, I was in early, up, getting along the waves, and then it was obviously up to the wave uh, as to whether I would make it or not. But that board just went exceptionally well for me. There was only one sort of slight gripe that I had about that board uh, surfing it at Cloudbreak, and that was a couple of times when I was coming off the bottom, I'd come up quite high on the wave and try and hook back down, and it did a couple of times just catch on the rail. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's the rail shape, maybe the volume that I have was a little bit big. I did feel like I could be riding a little bit less volume in waves of um, that power and that size, but uh, really uh, the board just suited cloud break exceptionally well and I'd take it back there. I did ride my Shadow XL out there once, uh, but I quickly changed it for my Ghost. I also rode, rode um, on uh, very small days, like when it was only two or three foot. I took my Red Tiger XL out there and it, I had a ball on it. I got a lot of little barrels, little cover-ups, just had a whole lot of fun on it. The board was loose. Uh, it seems to work exceptionally well in waves that have got a little bit of power, got a little bit of curve to the face. And I've talked about the Red Tiger Previously, I wasn't sure whether I really liked it or not. It's a board that needs concentration to surf it. You've got to surf it off the back foot. I don't feel that it works very well in mushy surf. I think it works well in small good surf. But surprisingly, I took it out uh, that day that I had uh, cloud break when it was big. I took it out that night at Wilkes Passage uh, when it was a solid six foot plus, And it worked exceptionally well there. Uh, for those of you who know Wilkes Passage, it's a very, very fast wave. It also sections a lot. You have to paddle extra hard to get into the wave, otherwise you're going to get pitched. And then it's just like a rocket. You just really have got to get down the line. And I felt like the Red Tiger, uh, with its double, deep double concaves and, and deep V, uh, which gives that board a lot of speed. I just found it was perfect for Wilkes. It was really fast. And surprisingly, because I thought it was really only a board that would go up to four or five feet, it worked exceptionally well in solid six foot surf. Now, it well may be that because it was glassy, um, the, you know, the surfaces once again were very, very smooth. And I just found taking off there so easy 
and that board was just accelerating down the line and I needed every ounce of speed I could get. So that board worked exceptionally well as well. Uh, the one surprise for me was that my Shadow XL just didn't seem to like the conditions in Fiji. I spoke with uh, the guy uh, at the board shop who I bought the board from and we had a bit of a discussion about it. He felt that maybe the contours, the bottom contour of the board really wasn't ideally suited for Fiji in those waves. I surf it at you know, Raglan and six to eight foot surf and that Shadow XL goes exceptionally well there. But for some reason it just wasn't responding very well for me in Fiji. So I probably wouldn't take it back. I'd consider taking another board. And speaking of other boards, I noticed uh, a lot of the American guys who either live there or have been visiting there for decades, they seem to ride pretty long boards, 6'8", 6'10", uh, maybe even bigger than that. And uh, so I would consider taking back a 6'10 Pedelec next time. I did watch a video from a guy who uh, is a team rider for Real Water Sports and he was working in Fiji and he swears by the Pedelec, especially on the bigger days. So I'd consider taking that back just to try it out, uh, have something with a little bit more long, a uh, little bit more length and uh, see how that goes. So that's really a bit of a post analysis on my quiver. It uh, was, it, two of the three boards went really well but there was just that one board uh, being my Shadow XL which is my favorite board here in New Zealand it didn't respond to the conditions particularly well and so I'd look to change that out. So uh, that was a quick snapshot of uh, my thoughts around my quiver after my first trip to Fiji. Uh, if you like the video please uh, subscribe and uh, hit the like button otherwise I'll see you next time.